Many people are suffering depression, caused by being subliminally aware of, their and the whole of humanity's debt slavery to the new world order system. The exploitative industries created to, pretend help, people with depression, caused by being subliminally aware, of being exploited by the new world order system, are all funded by people being exploited by the new world order system, including those with depression, caused by being subliminally aware, of the new world order system exploiting them. Hmm? The next facet of the New World Order control mechanism are the laborers, the people who did not fall completely for the New World Order mind control, or failed to get themselves into an exploitative position as regards better goods for their slavery. These people failed to get themselves into a position of power over their fellow slaves, still have the mind control belief that conforming will pay off at some point, or at the very least, they are part of something bigger and better than themselves. These people will follow any instructions by the New World Order, even if they know it will affect themselves and their colleagues badly. They follow these orders blindly, as their New World Order mind control tells them, it is for the greater good. The irony is, this very control mechanism, if it were to input justice, fairness, and decency, instead of fear and greed, would produce decent people, who would strive to produce more just and fair people, because their mind control says this is what is required for the greater good. So. Who are the New World Order? The New World Order are a group of individuals continuing the oppression of slaves, going back thousands of years. When civilization first appeared, these people realized they could use religion, war, and money to maintain their positions of power over slaves who believed in religion, war, and money. They did this by becoming religious leaders, money lenders, and war leaders. They were and are clever enough to know, it is in their interest to be represented on both sides of all conflicts they have constructed, and to make sure the slaves who believed in religion, money, and war, produced, using institutions and laws, constructed by the New World Order, more slaves who believed in religion, money, and war, and persecuted and killed those that did not, for example the Inquisition. We are the descendants of the believers and this is the reason why many people cannot see their debt slave reality, as the ability to comprehend their debt slave reality has been bred out of them over thousands of years. The New World Order are the descendants of the original New World Order, i.e., first, the very top leaders of religions, money lending, and the military. These beings are aware of the New World Order control system and can control its direction of travel. Second, slaves. These beings are not aware of the New World Order and believe the New World Order system they are unknowingly facilitating is just a fair system looking after their interests. Many people believe the New World Order structure is a many-layered power pyramid giving the debt slaves the belief that even if the system is a slave system, they are, or could be, above their fellow slaves which allows most people to live their entire lives as a slave, purely on the subliminal comforting thought, they are above other slaves in the slave structure. Which is why the pyramid hypothesis is encouraged in conspiracy circles. This hypothesis is wrong and it is important the New World Order, hierarchy, is understood by all. It is, masters, then slaves, full stop. So the New World Order is all of us, and has been for thousands of years. Back to the truth about money, the problem the New World Order has now. 
is a slave population that has been controlled by debt for the last 100 years, is now beginning to see the system they considered to be working for their benefit, has in fact just been a cover to hide their servitude to the new world order. And the debt slave system has been so overly used by the new world order, the amount of money the debt slaves owe now, is so large, even the new world order know it is farcical to continue with this form of control, especially as the debt slaves are now saying, hang on, where do you keep getting this money from, to lend us? In normal circumstances, before the debt owed was astronomical and the debt slaves did not have access to so much information, they would have gone for the old fail-safe and instigated a world war. The war would end, the people would be informed the war had destroyed the economy and we need to rebuild, and the banks would start printing money again and lending to people to buy businesses and houses, with the intention of claiming those assets for themselves at some point. They cannot do this now, because the people are in a debt so deep, it cannot be hidden. So realizing they need to maintain control of their assets, i.e., the people, they need them to be fighting something. They created a climate change crisis which to all intents and purposes is a long-term war for the people to fight and keep them distracted from the money tree scam that is out of control. But they still needed to change the debt slave control system to a cashless social credit system, which by a happy coincidence they now have the technology to implement. This new social credit control mechanism requires you to own nothing and lease everything you need from the cashless new world order system, you sign a contract and pay for any items you need with your labor and or compliance, all recorded via an all electric digital recording system. This system will record every detail of your life, and will determine what you can eat, buy, drink, who you can see, and where you can go. The social credit system will also inform the new world order if you are a threat to the system and can turn you off, i.e. Stop your access to the system by giving you a zero social credit rating. You may think you can just live off grid if this was to happen to you. But remember they are implementing laws that stop you from engaging with the natural world because of climate change. They need the time and the excuse to create this new social credit system because if they were to implement it overnight, with no explanation, the people would see it for what it is, an actual slave prison. Again by a happy coincidence, the very thing that would provide the excuse to implement such a draconian system happened. The pandemic has given the new world order the excuse to bring in the social credit system and the central bank digital currency, CBDC, needed to enforce compliance. And this virus also gave the new world order system the excuse to hoover up all the remaining small and medium-sized businesses by putting them out of business while the lockdowns were implemented. The economy is being primed for the final crash of the old debt slave system. And the slaves pushed into a corner where they will beg for a social credit tyranny. Bearing in mind the general population is effectively part of the new world order. The chances of stopping the new social credit slave system by appealing to the new world order's leaders or by taking to the streets and demonstrating, or by voting in their rigged system, is zero.
The only way to stop the New World Order is to create a new system, populated with people who understand the New World Order system has to be completely consigned to the past. In order to create a new fair and decent system it has to be initially implemented by people who are not New World Order operatives. The reason the world has deteriorated to its present condition is the people who are corrupting it, are able to do it in plain sight, as they can profess to being a good person doing a good job for other people, but in reality are doing evil selfish things, under cover of the New World Order establishment system. The People's Anti-Establishment Anti-Corruption Party members state they will treat everyone as if they were themselves. This statement guarantees, if anyone is not treated by them or sees them not treating someone else as if they were themselves, they are obliged to resign any office immediately. If you can see the action needed to create a decent fair world for everyone, join the P -A -E -A -C -P Change your mind. Thank you for watching this video. If you have made it this far, I would just like to add I can see no actual opposition to the plan for a new New World Order slave system. So I offer an actual opposition to the New World Order, one that wants to destroy the New World Order completely, by jailing the private money printers, having a debt jubilee, creating a new law system, and starting a new, fair for all system. Anyone who sees the New World Order and its controlling system will know all our differences have to be put aside and the number one priority has to be the destruction of the private money printing system before there is any chance of creating a decent society. I offer the People's Anti-Establishment Anti-Corruption Party as a rallying point for all opposition to the evil New World Order money printers. My enemy's enemy is my friend, kind of thing. Although the People's Anti-Establishment Party is also a way of ensuring the New World Order does not return, you could just use it as a statement that you want to put an end to the death grip the New World Order money printing scam has on humanity. If you want to destroy the evil New World Order, state you are a People's Anti-Establishment Anti-Corruption Party member. Or if you cannot bring yourself to be a People's Anti-Establishment Anti-Corruption Party member but want to destroy the New World Order, state you are a People's Anti-Establishment Anti-Corruption Party Anti-Bank member. Or a Peak Pab member. Just bring the bastards down. B. Actual. Opposition. Bring the band in. Woo. Well, all right. Yeah. They want me to fit in, but I can't. Uh, I'm too different with it. Too advanced to think. You know my intuition. I got bars and ink, but never in a prison. Too far gone. Never gonna sit and listen. This is optimism mixed with the best. You get it? Uh, what you see in this a piece in the flesh. I'm vetted. Uh, Sitting as a vet, but everybody know that you're a threat with a rest. Let's go. We won't 